Lons put their 100% home record on the line once again as they hosted Toulouse in the weekend's opening game on Friday night. Isongior had won their previous two consecutive matches by a 1-0 scoreline, including their impressive victory against Marseille last weekend and had moved into second place in the table. Toulouse, though, made a solid start upon their return to the top flight this campaign and had earned at least a point in each of their league fixtures during October, drawing 2-2 with Strasbourg last Sunday. His dad, Felix Bollard, is not the easiest place to go at the best of times, and indeed it was the hosts who produced the first chance of note. Captain Seko Fofana firing wide after linking up with Chemisław Frankowski. Warning signs for the visitors, though. And not long after, the home side were on the attack again. The ball worked right to Wesley Said, but his shot comfortable enough for Maxim Dupe. Toulouse would get a chance of their own after a wayward defensive header, and it took a fine saving tackle from Jonathan Grady to deny Zakaria Abuklal a clear size of goal. It was a fairly quiet opening half overall, though, and goalless at the break. The two sides perhaps cautiously figuring each other out as they met for the first time since March 2015. Lons clearly learnt all they needed to in the first half as the chances would immediately start to appear in the second 45. First Fafana putting a good chance over the bar and then David Pereira da Costa brought down in the penalty area by Stein Sperings with the referee pointing to the spot. The captain, of course, the man to step up. But on this occasion, it wouldn't be a case of Captain Fantastic as his spot kick was saved by Dupe. He's now saved three of the four penalties Toulouse have conceded this season. With the net still refusing to bulge, Franck Ez decided to introduce Florian Sotaka and Lois Appenda. And just four minutes later, the pair confirmed it as an inspired substitution. Sotaka, the provider, sending across to the back post, where Appenda had enough space to squeeze in and head home his fifth goal of the campaign. It took a while for Lance to find their second. Dupé keeping his side in with a shout on a few occasions. But he could do little as Openda was on hand again to make the point safe in the 86th minute. Getting in ahead of the defender and slotting into the bottom corner. Something of a defensive mix-up. Openda there to capitalise. And the Belgian international then completed his hat-trick in added time, ending a six-game drought in some style. Appenda nearly doubles his goal tally for the season in not much more than half an hour. That now up to seven, and no doubt helps press his claims for a spot in the Belgian World Cup squad. So Appenda with the match ball as Long's cement second spot. Le Violet, meanwhile, slipped to 11th.